Ooh, it's a bit grey out there. It's a bit of a grey day today, but... We're going caravanning! We are going to go check out a caravan. Specifically... An Ariba. Ariba! We're out in uh, good old... Yeah, Swedish. Swedish. Beautiful blue van. Which is a Type 2 bay window. 76-ish, was it? I can't remember. So late. Pickup. With a nice 2-litre engine and a flyer gearbox. Oh, it is good. And more importantly, got towage. And more importantly than that, we have a video on it and you should go watch it. Oh yeah, we'll put a linkage down below. All right, let's get going. Ciao, Bella. Morning, Kev. Kev. And Ben. Ben. Kev and Ben. What have we here? We have here, I believe, to be a 1970 Ariba Puck. She only weighs in at 300 kilograms. Wow. Correction, my estimated 300 kilograms, incorrect. It's actually 470 kilograms. The outside is exactly as it was when we bought it. Show you out of the way. With a few little knocks and bosses on it, but the inside I changed completely. Right. For a simple reason, the, the cupboards had a right old bashing and they weren't very good. So I bought some of the new lightweight ply took all the cabinets out and then just refabricated exactly the same as what was in there. Spot on. But in a lighter weight ply. It looks very pretty. So it's even lighter than it was? Yeah. No. All right, Netherlands. Well, I think we should put it on the back of your <coughs> truck. Look at this. This is Kev's yeah. truck. We can't go anywhere without talking about we your, your bay here. The only thing I've noticed though, look. No. Ah, no yeah, you can't well, take this, it with you. The thing is, I've got a, I had a tow bar for 69, but it was the most ugly thing you've ever seen. It bolts up across there, so you see this oh, big right. part of a black beam goes right through, which after when it's been painted, you don't want that yeah, big black yeah, beam. Yeah. That's why you need a work truck, like this one, look. Well, this one, is this your engine? Yeah. It's not better than my engine. Ooh. What size is your engine, Kev? Huh? 1641. <laughs> What size is this engine? Oh, two litres. Two litres. Tell me about your gearbox then, Kev. Uh, oh, you've got, oh, you've just got the three-way flyer. This has got a flyer gearbox. Oh, this has uh, got a flyer. To be honest. You've been trapped. Has it? <laughs> no, that's, <laughs> that's a trump <laughs> card, isn't it? My van's better than your van. Who did that <laughs> van come with that gearbox and engine setup? Yes, it did. Originally? No. Did this van come with that original engine and original gearbox? from Sweden as a late bay. By 1979, they developed all of the technologies, which is why the early bays, unfortunately, just started failing. Yeah, but this one looks great. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> we will come back when it's not gonna tip down, and we will have a proper look at this beautiful van. I've been trying to buy it off him, but he won't let me. <laughs> look at this. Oh, thank you ever so much. <laughs> Check this, this out. Is. We've never done a review where we've had oh, proper. Well, Kind of. Look, I'm. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, Big winner. We've got coffee. Lunch is coming out in a minute. We have dinner at seven, and then we're back for a brandy at about eleven. Oh. Right. Kev's still here. He doesn't actually trust that we can get this off his driver without bashing his van. He's probably right to be worried. Very true. Issues. We're at the point of uh, hitching on. Hitchy, hitchy. It should just drop straight on. European caravan, European bus. Something, but something shonky's happening. The ball looks bigger than normal. It's not often that I've got balls bigger than I need. <laughs> really. It's not having it. Good effort. So we've fallen at the first hurdle. And he's got a special measuring device. So this is the same, set the same. Perfect. Oh, interesting. A bit shonky. It's definitely some movement, but I think it needs more. Is this meant to, is that meant to press in? And how about do it now? How about do it now? There you go. Oh. <laughs> it's oh, that. Sh <laughs> is the so lock. anyway, what I've got to tell you before you go off is you've got to push this button in <laughs> to release it. So there you are, in conclusion, Ad. British balls Same size are no as bigger you. than European balls. There you go. Yeah. You heard it here first. Oh, Michelle, come on. Look. 
Oh, look Dinner's at that! Ten individual bags. That's spectacular. You don't fight over them. Oh, thank you so much. We're not taking the caravan. We're taking Michelle. Come We've on, done well. Michelle. <laughs> Please take her. Please. <laughs> <laughs> we have our sandwiches now. Thank you, Michelle. Right, we won't be long. We're going to go up the top, have some sandwiches, do a lovely review, drop her back. Operation Caravan Pickup. It's on the back. Is successful. So now, far. Now for Operation Caravan Review. If my nose doesn't get in the way, that's one hell of a view. Is my nose still in? Yeah. <laughs> Always. Lovely South Downs Way. South Downs Way campsite. campsite. And Gloria and Rebecca. Glorious Gloria. Uh, said, come down, do the review here. This is Gloria's wonderful well campsite. Retro van as well. <laughs> Say hello to us lot. Hello. <laughs> hello, said this the audience. <laughs> Gloria's let us come up into the South Downs campsite. South Downs Way. Caravan, Caravan and Camping Park. Yeah. Beautiful spot, isn't it? <laughs> We made it. We have arrived in this beautiful, shiny, shiny campsite. That towing was really easy. It's super light, so you can put half of it down to that. Uh, to be fair, there was a couple of points where I forgot it was on the back. Um, <laughs> Is that light? Yeah. Uh, I mean, admittedly, this van, no problems towing. Two litre, flyer gearbox, should tow anything pretty well anyway. Strong tower. But this guy, 470, 470 kilograms? Yeah, something like that. It was great. Towing's not so bad, really. That was pretty good, going forward. Going forward, but yeah. the funny thing about caravans, the smaller they are, happy days going forwards, right? Yeah, yeah. But then you start going backwards and stuff starts getting weird. Yeah, it's like any trailer, really. The bigger they are, the easier they are to turn. It shouldn't be assumed anymore that anybody's allowed to tow. That's correct, check your license. We'll give you a link below to the, um, the gov, the .gov website. Sometimes you'll hear people refer to granddad license, which is kind of what I've got. It means I've had a license for ages. And I can, can tow. Drive, drive whatever you like. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, it's worth, it's a combination sometimes of your age and the categories on your license, the size of the van or the car you're towing with and the weight of the caravan or the trailer behind. If you've recently passed your test, the chances are you don't have any allocation for towing. Like anything, you can get lessons and you can take your test. If you've not done it before and you're not feeling so confident on it, you can still go and do these lessons and do these courses that kind of tick it off yeah. and you're ready and happy to go. And also, if you have gone and bought a caravan and you're okay to do it, you can find a massive car park, big field like this one. Yeah, and try and do donuts. Yeah. Yeah, see if you can lose the caravan before yeah, you even yeah. started. That'd be good. That work? Uh, weight balance. Oh yeah, that's always interesting. Fairly balanced, possibly with some bias towards the front, just a little bit. Nose weight. A little bit of nose weight, but not much. Back is the point. Yeah, but essentially as balanced as possible, but with a little bit of bias towards the front. Over there to over here now. Yeah, in the sun. 
Sun on my face. I want to get a tan. <laughs> it's going in. It's gone in. Whoa! Oh, careful, you might get blinded. Get my sunnies out. Quite often, you're going to go and buy a caravan or a trailer or whatever Second it might hand. be. It might have been sitting around for a little while. Especially at the moment, they've been sat around during COVID, no one's been anywhere. And unlike your car or your truck or your van, your camper, they're not you going anywhere all the, all the time. So as tempting as it is to hitch it on the back and get camping, probably smart to have a look, a good look at it first and maybe you need to swap some stuff out. Yeah, when's the last time it had its wheel bearings changed or serviced or greased and oiled? It's one of those things, you can't really take the word for it. You kind of need to take the wheels off and have a look. Uh, same with the brakes really, the brakes need checking over. You can, just like anything else, take a caravan to a garage and there's certain garages out there do actual caravan or trailer servicing. Spare wheels, check it's got a spare wheel, don't want to be stuck on the side of the road. Make sure you've got your jack, make sure you've got your towing parts. Tyres, check they're not cracked and worn. They're not expensive, caravan or trailer tyres. So realistically, just get a new set. I think you, know, you can find regular trailer tyres for like 30, 40 quid each. Not too bad. Not so you could always negotiate with the seller if you are buying one for them to bring it to you and if they're hesitant it may mean it won't get there not always the point they might just be busy but yeah you can get them to bring it to you or you meet them halfway if you've got to go a couple of hundred miles go 100 miles each <whistles> electrics you need to check the electrics make sure when you plug your <coughs> light socket in these come on some of the caravans will have an auxiliary plug which you may not have on the back of your car the auxiliary plug means you plug it into your car and it will charge the batteries and stuff in the trailer. Yeah, very good. Keep the fridge doing its thing. Yeah, but, nice. But that's maybe on the bigger caravans. Difficult to check the seals if it's not raining. Mm. That's why it's always a good, uh, check it when good it's raining. idea to check your camper. Man. But you'll get good signs if you can kind of have a look inside. Uh, these have got insulation in them. So in an ideal world, you'll be able to take a panel off and have a look and check. But if you see like dark areas around the timbers and things, it's normally a sign of a bit of water ingress. Oh, welcome to the other side of the van where there's even more sun. Ooh. <laughs> Xylophone. Driving speeds and rules. So oh yeah, you're limited, aren't you? Uh-huh. Can't go in the uh, fast lane. No such thing as a fast lane. It's the far right lane. Overtaking lane. On a motorway, you can't go in the fast lane. <laughs> <laughs> also on a motorway, you are restricted to 60 miles 60 an hour. Miles per on A roads, it's limited to 50 miles per hour. 50, where you'd normally be doing 60. Mind you, if you're driving an old camper van, yeah. pretty rare that you'll get up to 60 with one of these on the back anyway. Right. Yeah, so there's a few more restrictions, which is why camper vanning get you there a bit quicker. The thing I like about camper vanning is that you can go a little bit more freestyle, exploring. And admittedly, if you took this down the little country lane, it's not too bad, but you might still get stuck with people coming past you or whatever. But if you get in the real stuck, you can just unhook it, push it out of the way, it turn it around and, yeah. and go and turn your truck around. That's with some of the cool. bigger ones, not so easy. Maybe it's too long to actually spin it around into the country lane. Maybe you get to the end of the dead end and then you've got to reverse two miles down the road. I've been there. <laughs> oh, nightmare. But camper van, and of course, you don't really get into those issues unless you've got a big motorhome. You can, so that's something that's really worth considering. You haven't quite got another difference with your caravan and your camper van. In if you're going out for the day in your camper van, you've got to stuff everything all back in it, and uh, well, certainly the stuff inside, you've got to pack it down safe, yeah, yeah, and then off you go. But with this, unhook, you're gone, yeah, job done, true enough. However, with a camper van, if you then decide where you've gone is really nice, you, you can, can just stay, stay there. there for the night, yeah, that's true. So, there are pros and cons, it's a toss up, it's a jolly big toss up. So, is this caravanning do you reckon in is the it? true sense of like top gear jeremy clarkson i hate caravans this is yeah Absolutely. but if you're but why do all the volkswagen lot have these then because they're a good buy is it not because they're really small because they can't tow anything bigger <laughs> there's that i think there's a lot of reasons why these little caravans get towed by the volkswagens and half of it will be because they're really lightweight mm. and you'll struggle to pull the bigger ones some of you certainly in the older like the air cooled bay windows and the splitties so these are ideal for it but like you say they're pretty cool aren't they it's like good vibe man i like this so what do you reckon? 1970 Ariba Puck. Ariba! Ariba are the makers. Mm -hmm. Puck is the puck. Name. It's the name thing. It's, it refers to the size of it, I would assume. And the fact you could take a hockey stick and just go doosh, off it goes. So the really early ones were all in silver, like aluminium, unfinished. They're pretty cool. And uh, then they've got half and half, half that and half painted. They did some of those, you'll see. It's good vibes. And I guess if you're looking at this now, you might be interested in Ariba. Maybe you've looked at it and searched for it on the web or whatever. But there's loads of other information out there. So, so size of the caravan. Yeah, and if you get in yourself something like this, the Ariba Puck, you can literally throw it around. Yeah, yeah. When we put it on the truck earlier, it was easy, wasn't it? So easily movable. We had the two of us. It probably, you could probably do it on your own. 
Yeah, big time. Yeah. Have a go. Should we do it? Well, not we do it, if you can do it. Shall I do it? Yeah. Spin it, man. There you go. And he's not even out of breath. No, oh, that was easy. I'm gonna put down the legs. Pin out. Spring loaded. Should do. Like that. Pin back in. Lockery, lockery. There you go. Light. Shiny, shiny. Very good. Reflectors when you're going. We'll come, we'll come to inside soon. That's a, that's a nice big window there. These, I don't actually know what this is. That's a little um, light for when you're driving. That comes on with the lights of the car. Oh, right, okay. Your awning rail here would be really cool. If oh, a little, little outdoor tent. Yeah, a little swingy, swingy. That'd be nice. That'd look lovely. And of course, your uh, handles to pull it around. Yeah. We've seen it happen. Pushy pull on those. I've done it myself. Uh, got an interesting little. Oh, that's really nice. Nice little uh, texture bit there. I wonder if that's just on top. A bit of protection, right? For when you're driving and when you hit something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the battery. Vasa. The Vasa. As usual. Um, we've got legs on this end as well. Needs a little bit of a service around the hitch, but it's all pretty good, isn't it? I love this. I think that's an amazing shape for a window. Anyway. Oh, yeah, it does that. Oh, very fun. Nice. The, the badge all, is pretty cool, isn't it? All four sides. I know, that's groovy. Arriba, pack. What else you got on this side? A few vents. Vents. These. Hubcaps. Very difficult to get hold of, from what I understand. And. Bosch. On your campsite. Jack in. And you can uh, charge as much stuff as you like. This is definitely on an angle. <laughs> it's not quite straight. Hang the on. Let me just the, adjust it. The angle, the dangle right there, my friend. There it is, straight now. Aerial. Aerial. X aerial. And your uh, solar panels. So on a day like today, when you've got some sun at least, you can be charging. And that should uh, charge up your leisure battery in there. A little bit. Yeah, it's only a little one just to top not, it up. It's not massive. This opens. It's a nice opening window. We'll check that out inside. Cool. There's something goes in there. I wonder what yeah, goes in there. In. Anyone know? If you know what these are for, let us know, because we don't know. In the I reckon it must be like a canopy thing. You must be able to put a canopy on there that sort of sits over here. open that up. Strong boy, big strong boy. Uh, All right. This is an original 1969 Ariba bungee. Why don't I believe you? Well, it might be from Halfords. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, there's a door open. Where did you hook it onto? The, uh... Handle. That bad boy. Shoom. Look at that, technology. Whoa, oh, check that out. This is lovely, eh? Yeah, you can put all sorts of useful things. Look, you could put your maps in here. Oh, yeah, if you're going Orienteering. Orienteering, very good. Also, oh, nice, I like that. They slotty, 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 slotty. Do you think this is an original? No, I reckon that's been added. Do you reckon? Oh, nice. No, I don't know, it's in, it's in a really good, um, really good condition, that, isn't it? Oh, there's a vent. Can't be 50 years old. Oh. Open, oh, that was eventful. <laughs> We're going in? We're going in, go. Whoa. Sorry, Kev, say he's the first owner of this one since it came in from the Netherlands, and it only had one other owner in the Netherlands. Right, yeah, okay. That's why it's in good nick, I reckon. Two, two owners over 50-something years. And also, all of the cabinetry he replaced, right? Yeah, that's right, so nice light stuff. Kept all the fittings and everything else, but being the master chippy that Mr. Kev is... He's done a great job, look at it. Oh, this is, let's look. All right, there you go. Whoa. And the uh, these open? Oh, a bit of a breeze. No, I think these uh, stay as they are. So this is the only opening window here. That'll do. So these originally were um, made or designed for families of six. Get out of here. <laughs> or a couple. Couple. Not a couple of families. A couple of idiots. <laughs> hey. So this is the bedboard that goes down in the gap there. And the cushions. Behind that, cushions, then and behind me, slot through to create your in the middle uh, double bed. Your double bed, yeah, six feet. That's proper cozy, comfy. It is lovely, isn't it? I love it. Look at that. Oh, that's brilliant. It's that's actually uh, that not moves. wood. It's not wood. We'll give it a feel. Oh, <laughs> that's really weird. It's material. Yeah. A bit of storage. Unos. Anything in there? No, nah, just wires for this bad boy. Ah. We haven't got the power turned on. There's a big power unit over there. Storage underneath where we're sitting. Underneath our arses. And a bit of storage at this end. You could sit here quite comfy, have playing your cards or whatever you're going to do. Realistically, you could have a couple more people in here. So it's quite nice to chill out. You could have four people comfortably. Yeah, having a bit of a meal. It's got a pop-up roof. So imagine sitting in front of your uh, hob there and you <laughs> drop your boiling water 
all over you. You don't want to be doing that. You want to be standing up. Hence, the standy uppy roof. And we've got curtains. It's also like an escape hatch if that ends on fire. Ah, uh, good point. Dive out the window there. It's actually not a bad point. It's Doable. A, a bit sick, but it's a good point. Let's uh, pop the top. So, oh, looking up your nose. Give that a go. Thank you. Oh, watch your fingers, Adam. One of those. Lock it in. Oh, that's real nice. Oh, there you go. I see Perfect. It. See what it looks like from the outside. Very nice. All right, and you've got these little uh, these little vents. Let's just check one of them out. Nice. Oh, look. They still work. Oh, this is a good breeze coming through here, mate. Oh. oh nice. Oh, fresh summer air. Oh, look at this. Do you reckon this for TV? Oh, I reckon. A little TV stand. Yep. Put your TV on there. Watch as much TV as you like if you're plugged in. And, of course, you have your uh, electric... T ele Go on, son. Electricity controls. So what have you got? Uh, ooh, car battery, fan battery off. Shows you how you're doing on charge wise. Yeah. And then it can uh, send it to the pump, the lights, and the auxiliary. So pump is for the water, lights is for the lights, auxiliary is for your little telly, plug sockets. Plug yeah. sockets and that. Uh, moving around, let's have a look here in here. Ba -da 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 -da. Storage. Oh, a couple of shelves. Nice storage. And a hookup cable. Couple of shelvy bits. Battery. Oh yeah, look, it's showing you oh, that you're getting some charge sun. Charge control unit. So that should, yeah, charge up absolutely. It's yeah. got a little sad face because there's not a lot of uh, charge right now, but uh. charge is down underneath the seat there. Whoop. There you go. And you've got a fuse box there that shows you in from outside. I'm liking this. I'm liking this little too. caravan. It's very nice. Right. And whoop. Hello. Oh, that's handy, isn't it? Little mirror, so you can uh, keep this open and watch yourself sleep. <laughs> nice. Or do other stuff. Yeah. Hello. Mirror's always good. Welcome to the kitchen area. Hello. Check this out. Ooh, oh, sink. Nice. Very nice. Adam. Little pluggy, yeah? <laughs> what are you sinking? <laughs> what are you sinking? I'm sinking a lot about this hob. We. Oh, check it out. Hob under here, super nice. Nice. Oh, look, a bit German up there. Gash flashen, went Is it? Is it German? Is a, are Reapers German? Oh, weren't they? Do we know? Because we haven't actually dish. done our research, have we? We will tell you. We, we will write it here. Yeah. Cool. So, right, twin hub, nice. Very nice. And the gas, where's the gas? Nobby nobbies. Pretty sure. Gas oh, yeah. is down there, look at that. Nice. So that's where you're storing it. Cool. Little, Beauty. Little drawer. Little drawer, should we find out what's in? Oh, oh, empty. empty, empty drawer. So cutlery, I would imagine. That is where it goes. That is all your kitchen utensils. Right. So, where I guess, well? if, oh, yeah. Can you if you're up? going for a cooking, yeah, that's perfect, isn't it? That's ideal. Is that, maybe sausages in the morning? Is that a hob knob? If you're not careful. Yeah, if you're really not careful. Hob knobs. You might hob your knob. Right. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah. You get all your not all your really. plates and your your Cro pans. Crockery. And your crockery. There's loads of storage. There's so much room here, and I guess there's there's more under here as well. Yeah. Because your battery's in there. Yeah. Loads this is going to be empty. For sure. Oh yeah, perfect. Look. Nice. Wicked. And there's storage up there. Oh, we've got even more. Storage. You put your spices up there, don't you? And you. And you put your your tea bags. Tea bags, absolutely. Spices, salt, pepper. That's kind oh, of right. as, that's that's kind as, of as spicy as the British people get. <laughs> salt and pepper. <laughs> this is true. So you could cook a culinary delight in that little kitchen there. If I could cook, yeah. Yeah, that would work. Or if not, we could do meal deal. Meal deal, meal deal. How about some sandwiches? Oh, I'll tell you what though, we don't have to meal deal today we, because we Mish. I think she might just call it a Mish. Mish. Kev's Mish. wife, Mish, not only she did she lend us this caravan to do a quick review, she did us some sandwiches to review as well. Oh, an angel of a woman. Look at that. And they come in their own little bag. Perfect. Oh. There you go, Ed. So we're going to have a little bit of lunch. A little bit of lunchy. And that's kind of it, really. Yeah, man. Compact and bijou. So bijou. I wonder what do other two birth caravans have that this one doesn't? What a lovely little caravan. This is very cool. This brilliant little thing. And it looks, I've, I've got to say, Kev and Michelle have done a real good job with it. Yeah, absolutely. Look, I mean, uh, for this one that's this age, what do you reckon it is? 69, 70, something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you wouldn't tell from here at all, would you? Because no, most not. caravans that age are they, like a bit sort feels of... Feels new as well. Yeah, it feels like these, not not dated at all. Your calf kids in, of course. Never forget that. This is such a cool little caravan. Yeah. Hey, up, Hey, up, lad. Interestingly, oh. the whole reason for doing this was to get a delicious lunch. Yeah, to get the delicious lunch off the Michelle. Oh, finished. Thank you very much. But we think that um, Kev was looking to sell the caravan because he's not getting used out of he it. He did mention that. 
So I think we might bid him a cheeky offer on the basis that maybe he still gets to use it a little bit mm -hmm. and see if he could part, part ways with it. It's possibly a bit excessive because we've got vans that we can play with, but if it means we've got it for, a, even if we have for a few months now, it'd be good fun. And then we yeah, can, it's a little something else. Someone now. else can have a play with it after that. I mean, it's uh, nice. Even, even we've just been in it for the last, you know, hour and a half. Well, that's just it. It's really, it's really lovely. It's not one of those things where you're sitting in there going, oh my God, there's no room, everything's in the way. Um, and that's the whole thing, isn't it? Even me and him are in here together. Ugh. And I never like being closer to this guy. <laughs> all right, yeah. should we make the call? Yeah, all right. We'll do it on the way back. Yeah, okay. Nice. We're gonna hook get it up, get back on and uh, get going. Skedaddle. What a lovely little van. What a lovely little caravan. He hasn't closed the roof. Ah. Oh. One job. Mr. Keb. Hello, mate. Can you tell Michelle thank you for the sandwiches? Yeah, epic. Um, no, uh, well, we won't be back, that's the thing. If we can agree that price. <laughs> yeah, we love it. Okay, cool. Thanks, buddy. It's as simple as that. That's it. We, um, we own a puck caravan. We just bought, we just bought a caravan. Yeah, let's um, <laughs> let's leave me hanging. Oh, I apologise. <laughs> God, we're quite good at that. Nice. That's exciting, isn't it? A cheeky bonus. <sighs> you thought we'd forgotten? <laughs> oh no, we are doing the beer review, the fridge review. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole reason for looking to get a caravan, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. That's got a fridge. But interestingly, the fridge in these vans never used to exist. Obviously, that one doesn't because that's quite a new one. Electrolux. This definitely exists. I can see it. What make is it? Electrolux. Electrolux. So, but that was um, that was put in as an addition. So you could say, oh, it's not original. Correct. But if you don't want cold beer, then Pfft. so be it. Yeah. We want cold beer. So this will be the third fridge review. Absolutely. That and happens to have a caravan. Well, the Tisha came out on top in the previous to who reviews. Uh, so let's find out how this Ariba Park does in our rigorous testing. And then finally. <laughs> Gently. To the fridge, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> on, yeah. I don't want to move. Right, the fridge is open. I'm nervous, mate. This is going to go. What a time. We're reaching the end. I mean, should we do the door test, door close test? Here we go. Oh, it shuts, it shuts sweet. easily. <sighs> okay, so we have found through our rigorous testing phase, four beers left, therefore 32 beers in the fridge. That's pretty good. Quite good. Little caravan, big fridge. <laughs> it's like the TARDIS in there. Plus, of course, it does have your... Oh, man, I'm going to break this. does have your little freezer box in there. Can you not fit beer in there? I mean, I think yes is the answer. There's two, two beers will fit in there. Look at that. Nice and chill. Oh, that's really good. 34 beers instead. One each. One each, ready to go. Hey, Monday, Monday morning, nine o'clock, hey. <laughs> not very much. Why not? Chin chin. <laughs> Door's open. 